What's going on everyone? We're here at the little testing pond. Uh, right now I've got the Tatula BF TW70. Uh, and I've got a little three 30 seconds ounce Kitek mono spin jig on. Um, I've got like a little back of a fluke as like a little trailer there. Uh, Tim is gonna be throwing a 1 16th ounce um, little road runner. And one of the big things right now is it was a little bit calmer about an hour ago. Now the wind's starting to pick up. I'm sure you can hear it in the back. Um, but we're gonna try to get our best casting impressions for y'all. Um, you know, we've got each of these rods. We got two Dobbins rods right now. I've got a seven or a six foot nine, I believe. Uh, Sierra here. Tim's got a 700 Sierra, which is gonna be a seven foot rod, zero power essentially. Um, I'll tell you what, these things are very sensitive. I can feel everything that I'm ticking along the bottom. You know, with BFS, you want really, really small movements a lot of the time. You don't want to overwork it. Um, casting straight into the wind about 30 feet. And I got one actually. I actually got one right here. That's crazy. <laughs> The drag feels really, really good. It's very smooth. This rod's doing an amazing job uh, in the reel. I mean, that performed perfectly right there. This fish <laughs> about to jump. <sighs> right there. There we go. A little mono spin jig for y'all right in the top of the face. Of course, we got it right here on this Tatula. And uh, check that out. This thing's getting ready to spawn, I guess, because he's really fat. So we're going to get him back real quick. Hey, you caught a fish on it, Sam. Got a fish on it. It's bona fide. Yep. So that was really cool, guys. I hope y'all are enjoying the content we're doing here. I know the camera's shaking a little bit. Um, but that's just how it is, how we roll. A little windy, like I said, I was casting up into the wind actually, and um, reel performed great. Didn't have to set the hook very hard, and that fish kind of just hooked himself. Try it again. And one of the big things I'm seeing right now is bandit. yes, we could be using a little bit lighter line, we could be using oh, I think I got another one. Got another one. Oh, he come off. <laughs> he come off. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't. I didn't set the hook very hard, and that one came off. Um, so you definitely do need a little bit going for you when you're setting the hook. Try some roll casts. Try like right here. Tim, how's yours casting? Well, I had to take some line off, so. Not, Tim is throwing a 116th ounce. It, it casted that about 20 yards. 20 yards. Yep. You know, Sam, it does not too bad for even just flipping around real close. Yeah. For a 16th ounce bait. Yeah, 116th ounce is really crazy to me. Yeah. Well, yeah, watch. I hit the water on that one, but. I think, I mean, that's, that's impressive. Yeah. And I can almost, I can basically skip it straight up under this stuff right here, which is, which is insane at 30 yards down. That to me is absolutely crazy. Now I'm hung up on a damn light. So gotta get this off. That's where I caught the seven pounder last year. You can hang it up. Yeah, it'll come off. There we go. All right. Take this like this uh, pole casts it good. Back Sam, Kevin. This this pole casts it nice. This uh, seven foot, sixteenth ounce, <laughs> BX bonehead jig. I got one, Sam. Sam, I yeah. got one. Yeah. Probably a bluegill, but I got something. I got a little bass. A little bass. <laughs> well, 
I think that was a good test. <laughs> Crappie fishing with a bait caster. <laughs> Almost. There's another one. That's a bat. There we go. There's <laughs> another one. Boat flipping crappy. <laughs> Look how fat this one is. That's a white crappie. Yep. And he's got that stripe on his head too. I actually think it's a black crappie. It might be black. He's got that. Because he's spotted. Yeah, he's not, he doesn't have vertical see lines. This. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed that footage outside. You know, Tim and I absolutely love testing out the reels. You know, we don't like bringing stuff in that we mm. haven't tried ourselves and making sure we know what we're talking about, whether you come in store, call us online. Um, so we've got the BFTW here, Tatula BFTW 70, and we have the PX and um, we only tested the PX. If you want to see a video on the BF, just the standard BF guys, let us know down in the comments. We really appreciate it, all the support we're getting there. Um, Tim, out of all the times you casted the reel, kind of, is there anything that stood out to you, whether good, bad? I would say the only, uh, I guess, negative thing, bad thing, or, is that it's not really like a pitching kind of a deal. Right, you, obviously, it's gotta, BFS. You, you have to kind of, you gotta kind of You need some it. inertia Correct. When, you, when you throw, of course, with a bait so system. Because they're so light, but, you, but casting it, no problem. Just wonderful, and we tried yeah. it on, uh, I know we did some tests before on the so. Steez, uh, finesse game special, Correct. Um, Steez rod, we've done testing on the Dobbins rods. Right. Yep. Um, I do want to try, we did try the 6.9 in the video as we were filming, right. uh, and we did the finesse game special, which is a 6.8. Yeah. So I, I'm wondering, curious, if a longer rod would have more, much more of an effect on the We got the 7-foot that's a lot slower that we right. could Right, 701 on. Dobbins. And then we have the 7-footer that's a little bit stiffer right so. so let's go over some hardware pieces of this so uh starting it off the tatula bftw 70 uh comes in two gear ratios i believe or maybe it's just one gear I ratio think it's just one just but one gear ratio high, high speed but yep x x h in yeah. diowa terms and i covered up my I'm, I'm wearing my shimano hoodie today um so just covered that up so <laughs> conflict of interest <laughs> um but guys the bf is going to be a little bit heavier spool um, overall, the reel is a little bit heavier, coming in at 6.3 ounces. We've got 7.7 .7 pounds of drag on here, and the inches per turn is 30 on the dot, 30 inches per turn, and I believe they're measuring that with six pound line. Correct. Um, and it's gonna have five bearings in here, plus two uh, ceramic uh, bearings as well. So, uh, what do you have on yours, Tim? This is uh, a little bit, this is the lighter of the two. Yep. Well, Cost a little more as well. Cost more, yeah, and it has uh, same thing. Max drag is seven point seven. Yep. Six bearings and two CBR, uh, CRBB bearings to it, and it's got the 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 spool's a little more whiffled. Right. And so that's what makes it lighter. Uh, it also reduces a lot of weight correct. in the spool, which is correct. good for your bait finesse systems yeah. and casting lighter lures. Now there, it is say it does say it's a, a high speed eight six to one, but it's yep. picking up. We said about almost like 20, 30, 30 inch, pretty much. Yeah, 30, 30 inches, inches, which is not as fast as the other ones, but you just have to relate it to the size of the reel. Right. I guess you got to scale everything, it's, right? It's, You're throwing it's, tiny, it's, tiny it's lures, stuff, and yeah. I want to try throwing like really, really small stuff, like one sixteenth. Yeah, you could. Yeah, and you, yeah, hopefully we can do that here. Uh, we might go out and refilm some stuff. So if you see clips that are kind of not in a sequence, uh, yeah. we're probably trying out some lighter I stuff. Guess the only uh, and then the B, the PX has got a little uh, a little more shiny. Uh, yep, it's not as matte. Not as matte as the other one. Does it have the spider? No spider. It's not Tatula. On, it's not a Tatula. Oh, it? It's not a Tatula. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so this so, is a Tatula. And this that is, is not. That is not. Gotcha. So this one here, another big difference is the um, hyper drive system in that, and that's going to be uh, the gearing inside here really allowing you to bear down on your fish. Mm -hmm. um, overall, I mean, just feeling both of these and casting both of these, you definitely can tell that Daiwa has really upped their game and put a lot of time yes. into this because it, it, it's taken Daiwa mm. quite a long time to get into the bait finesse systems. Yep. Um, you know, this one here is based off the 70 or the 80, I believe, and then that, that one there is gonna be, I think, one of the two in terms of just overall frame. Um, and, and the weight in this one doesn't seem as significant as you know it would lead, lead to, but I mean, it is a little bit of a difference. The reels both feel 
very yeah. solid handles are going to be i believe 90 millimeter something like yeah, 85 they, millimeter and the other thing they are just reeling them they are you can't feel gears in these. Right, and I honestly think this one, just because the hyperdrive system in that one, I think it's actually a little bit smoother, even at a lower price point. I think you're really paying for the spool and the casting ability in yep. the PX here. I don't know what you I think, have. but to me, this one, this one doesn't feel as smooth. I mean, it's still extremely smooth, don't get me wrong, but not quite as smooth as that hyperdrive. It's crazy how, yep. much, how smooth they are, though. So, guys, check out the... Um, Tatula BF and the PXBF online at LakeProTackle.com. I hope you enjoyed the footage. If you did, leave a like on the video. Yeah. Comment down below which one you would rather get. And uh, let us know down there, guys. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye.